You know, the really cool thing about algebra is that it allows us to solve really interesting real-world questions by modeling what we see using math. Check out this interesting example about mixing things up. Okay, now here's what I want to do. I want to dilute a 60% acid solution. So I want to make it less acidic. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to add some 20% acid solution. So if I start with a 60% acid solution and I start adding a, a smaller percentage, it's going to weaken the mixture. And if I start with 80 milliliters of the 60% solution, how many milliliters of the 20% solution will I need to add in order to get a result of 45% uh, acid solution? So this is kind of interesting, right? I start with 60 and I want to kind of lower, dilute it by adding 20% until I get to 45%. Well, how much do I need to do? That's a really interesting and complicated uh, question, but we can model it really well using algebra. And so this is what's often referred to as a, a mixture type model. And, and there's a very simple idea that if you just think about it, it makes a lot of sense. And the simple idea is if you take the total amount of concentration, that's usually a percentage, and you multiply it by the total volume that's in that amount, then that's going to actually be the same thing as doing them kind of separately. Namely, taking the concentration of the first amount, multiplying by the volume of the first amount, and then adding the concentration of the second amount uh, multiplied by the volume of the second amount. So these two things have to be equal. And that actually allows us to crack this thing open. So what's going on here just in terms of the actual experiment? So we can think about it the following way. And I'm going to actually show you the, the the acid, so you always have to, of course, wear your goggles. So we're going to start with the 60% acid. And then I'm going to take some of this 20% acid. And the idea is, how much of this do I need to keep adding into it so that I end up with the 45%? So the goal is to take some of this, add it to this, until it becomes this. And the question is, how much do I add given that I have um, 80 mill uh, milliliters of this? So that's the challenge. And I'm going to now put this away. Uh, maybe I'll come back to this and we'll actually do it live. What do you think? Would you like to do that? I think so. It'll become kind of fun. Always wear goggles when doing algebra. OK, so um, a nice way to kind of organize our thinking here is just to write down the two different parts in the total and, and, and kind of put together what we know. So here we go. OK, so the part one, we have the 60% mixture. And how much of it do we have? Well, we have 80 milliliters. The second part, the stuff that we're going to add in, well, let's see. That's the 20% solution. And how many milliliters do we have to add? Well, that's exactly the question. That's the unknown quantity. Let's call it x. So x is going to be the unknown quantity of milliliters of the 20% acid solution that I have to add to this so that what happens? we get a total of 45%. So we want a 45% acid solution. And, and what will the volume be? How much of that solution will we have? Well, we don't know that, but we can say something about it. We don't have to call it a new unknown, because we know that the total volume is going to be the volume of the first part plus the volume of the second part. I sound like a lawyer. The volume of the first part plus the volume of the second part. So that's going to be, if you add these, 80 plus x milliliters. And that actually sets up how to set up this mixture, um, this mixture model. Because all I have to do is on this side, I see that I have 45% times this volume is going to equal this concentration times 80 plus this concentration times x and solve for x. So if we put that together, let's try that right now live. What we see is 45% of, that means times, the volume, which is 80 plus x. So that's this side, equals, and then what's the other side? I see 60% 
of 80 plus 20 percent of, which means times, and this quantity x. So now all this work has brought us to this algebraic equation, which we can now actually solve. And so how do we solve this? Well, 45%, of course, you know that just means 0.45. And so we can just now write everything else. 60% is 0.6 or 0.60, if you'd like. Either way is correct. 20% is 0.2 or 0.20 times x. And now if we now distribute, so take uh, 0.45, take 0.45 and multiply it by 80, we see 36 plus 0.45x equals, and then 0.6 times 80, what's 60% of 80? That's 48, plus 0.2x. So now we have to combine like terms. So, so let's actually subtract 0.2x from both sides, or bring this over to the other side, depending how you want to think about it. And then what I would see here, it, I subtract, and so I see 0.25 x equals 48. I subtract 36 from both sides, and I see that 0.25x equals 48 minus 36, which is about 12. I think it's, in fact, exactly 12. And so this is a quarter x equals 12. So if I multiply both sides by 4, or you can imagine dividing both sides by 0.25, uh, we see that x equals uh, 12 times 4, which is 48. And what does x represent? x represents the amount, the volume. So that's milliliters. So the answer is we have to add 48 milliliters of the 20% solution to get us to where we want to be. Let's see if that's it right. Should we just try it real fast? Let's just try it real fast. We'll try it. Let's have some fun. We'll try it. Remember, this is what we started with. This is what we're going to add. That's the 45%. Now I'm adding the 20%. And our goal is the 45%. Let's do some science live. I'll actually put on my, my things here. And here we go. Let's see what happens. I'm nervous. Are you nervous? I'm nervous. So we're trying to shoot for the green acid. Ooh, look at me. Look at this. And there it is. Voila. I added 48. And look at them. They become identical. How awesome is that? How awesome is that? It is so cool. Wow. So math really works, and you can see it in action. This is crazy. All right. Let's try one more example, just because you can't, you can't have enough of these mixture questions. So uh, now I want to dilute a 60% acid solution by adding uh, some 20% acid solution to get a total of 50 milliliters of the 45% acid solution. So check out what we know and what we don't know. I know how much I want to end with, the volume I want to have total, but I don't know, in fact, how much I have of, the, of the each. So again, if you come back to the model and just write down all the data, you can't go wrong. So let's try it now. So part one. So again, I'm going to add um, 60%. I'm going to start with the 60%. But how much of that do I need? I don't know. I don't know. So let me call that x. And now, what do I need for the 20? Well, the next one is the 20%. And, and let me just keep this blank for a second. And come to the very last thing, where I want to produce 45%. And I know exactly how much of it I want. I want uh, 50 milliliters. And now, can you figure out the unknown quantity of the part two, the 20% I need, given that I want a total of 50, and I'm going to use x of them for the 60%? Well, it's going to be the difference. So it's going to be 50 minus x. Because the sum of these things has to yield 50. The volume of this plus the volume of that has to give me 50. So if I have x for this, that means I have to have 50 minus x for the second one. So when I add them, I get that. And now I put them into the model. And when you put them into the model, what do you see? Well, this is like one of those cooking shows where I've done it for you in advance. 
I've got 45% times the volume equals 60% times the x plus the 20% times the 50 minus x. So that's how I use this model and this data. And now it's just a matter of solving. So you know, 45% is 0.45, 60% is 0.6. 20% is 0.2. You, you do a lot of distributing and multiplying. You get this. Look at this. This is great. Don't you wish everything were done in advance for you? I really do. And then you end up with 12.5 equals 0.4x. And if you divide and simplify, you see 31 and a quarter milliliters is how much of the uh, first solution that you need. How much of the uh, ah, so I should make sure we answer the question. How much of the 60% solution should we need? It's 31.25 milliliters. And how much of the second solution? It's just 50 minus that. So m using models algebraically allow us to take real world phenomena, phenomena that involve all sorts of really cool things in our real world, and allow us to figure out exactly what we're looking at.